I'm pleased to say that I finally got the joystick control working. I had several iterations of this once more and decided that I was going to stop being clever and just solder it to make it work. Uh, previously I was soldering stuff to other things that shouldn't have been joined together and that was causing some shorts which wasn't what I wanted. So just to show you that it does still look a mess, at least it's colourful, but it works. And what we have is two LEDs to indicate the status of the button press from these joystick modules. And if you remember the previous video I showed you how I was able to get that detected. Quite pleased with that. And then also we have the two inputs here for those joysticks. I'm going to briefly pause the video so that I can connect everything together and then I'll show you how it's all working. So here's the module with the joysticks connected and that's connected to the Nerduino. What I have is the serial monitor running and hopefully you should be able to see that any second. And what this is doing, this is just outputting the X and Y values from the read pins on each joystick. So you've got left and right, and then I also have an output for the status of each LED. Now what I'll do is I'll move the left joystick up, and you can see the LY value changes. And the range is actually from 0 to 1023. So 1,024 possible values, but what I'm doing, the way I'm outputting this, is that if the value of each read pin changes with, uh, to go outside of a certain threshold, and that's about 10 um, points either way, um, then that's when I'll output. And the reason for this is that I'm going to be sending wireless packets from this module to the Rumbarduino via the wireless transceivers. I really don't want to be sending data over and over again. Really, all I need to change or, or send is when there's a change uh, in the X direction, either going forward or going back or back to the middle, um, and send the appropriate signal to the rumba duino to, uh, to move the rumba at all. Um, so that's why I need to just cut down on the, the number of packets that I'm sending. Now if you remember the previous video, then I have buttons on the joysticks. And I have to sort out what's known as debouncing. So more than one press is being registered. And I just want one press to be registered so that I can either turn it off and on. You saw the LED flickering just then. Um, that's mainly because of the, the sampling speed and just making sure that uh, I can kind of discard any other value after I've, um, I've registered the fact that it's been pressed. But what's happening is that the... The press is being sent through the shift register back to the Nerduino. The Nerduino is changing the output value on the shift register to the pins specifically for the LEDs and turning them on and off and keeping state values there. So you can see that the right button's working. What I have to do now is to write some code that will take all of that input and start sending packets to the Nerduino.